infinitely lower than her. We're actually looking down on her. We're looking up at her. She's looking down on us. Thank you to Safari Hayes, who's responded to my question as to who we think these two are. She tells me, and I agree, that these are the two younger females that we've been watching over the last few days. And in this particular individual, we're looking for a scratch, apparently, next to her left ear, as well as the two dots on her nose. But this is definitely the two younger lionesses. So they've come all the way back after the events of the last few days. Now for those of you who might have missed out, the Birmingham boys came through and chased them away. Off their buffalo kill, they were there for about four days feeding on that buffalo, all by themselves, and the Birmingham boys came rushing in with an unknown female, and these two fled to Arethusa and to Red Dam. After that, we don't know where they disappeared to, but they've obviously made their way back to Juma now two days later. <laughs> well, at least we've got one ID, for sure. Cochino, John. There you're right, they're absolutely not the Birmingham boys. <laughs> Spot on. And yes, there is some blood around the edge of her mouth there on the right side. It looks fresh. It's hard to tell if it's hers. Teresa and John, that you picked up on the fact that she's got a little bit of blood around her mouth. She does. It is very fresh looking. She could have scratched herself. It doesn't look like they've been feeding on a kill. There would definitely be more blood around, so that's probably hers. As to how she acquired an injury, we don't know. We need to wait for her to yawn to double check the condition of her teeth. <laughs> 